I'm the 30 year old Grom, birth name Martin Sturgeon. Raised by my grandparents, life was good in the beginning as it is for so many. I was spoiled, I didn't really go without much if I'm honest. For many years I was completely 100% under the illusion that my grandparents were my biological parents and that didn't change until I was maybe, I don't know, six, seven. One day I was kind of bickering with who I thought was kind of like, I don't know, like a family friend. I was like, you can't tell me what to do, you and my mother. My mum then told me, yes I can. Moving forward, secondary school, started off quite rebellious and then I think I sort of found my feet by the end of it. But by then I was almost over it anyway. Yeah, I didn't really pay too much attention in secondary school. I was lucky in middle school to meet a girl that then became such a long-term girlfriend, probably a lifelong friend. So from when I was like 16 to pretty much when I was 30. So I lost my granddad when I was 17. If I'm honest, I don't know kind of what road I would have taken if it hadn't been for my ex. So I'll be eternally thankful for her because like my life fell apart when my granddad passed away. After splitting up with my ex-girlfriend, I met Andrea. As much as she was way younger than me, she seemed to be so much more outgoing and so much more focused in what she was trying to achieve in life. It made me think, well, I need to pick up my ideas and I've got to start doing stuff. Noticing that the only way that I was going to really start to make things better was to make changes for myself. I'd already started trying to kind of build this idea of doing a vlog. I still faced the stress of could I actually bring myself to put myself on YouTube. So I'd been vlogging but I kind of had this thought that I'll make the videos and I'll, I'll video the journey and if I don't ever want to put it to YouTube then I don't have to. I, I still suffer from the anxiety and struggle to see myself in a positive light but it still doesn't stop me trying to be the person that I want to be and I think that's what's changed. I don't have any ambition of being like super mega rich or famous or anything. I don't really care about the numbers on YouTube or how many sort of likes, shares, whatever it's getting. I, I like the community that it's built and that was kind of one of the things that out of everything, if it was between money and fame or having a community that is just of good vibes, good spirits, positive thoughts, pushing forwards, trying to do everybody like justice and just elevating each other like that's that's what i'd want the crazy thing that comes with that though is when people see back the old vlogs to what kind of vlogs i've been putting out in the last little while they see two different people like completely different people and i've had it said more than once where they can't believe that the person that started that vlog is kind of the same person that they see daily now Sometimes it makes me kind of feel like at least I've achieved something. I've changed that mindset where everything was just doom and gloom and there was no point in doing anything because it would just be my luck that it goes bad. So, you know, again, it's kind of putting like barriers in the way of you not getting hurt or not achieving the things that you really do want to set out to achieve in the first place because you just pile up so much baggage in front of it that you're like, well, you know. It's not worth trying, it's not worth doing. There's been a few downs, but in the, in the past year alone, like the ups have been insane. Still don't stop me thinking to myself, like, you know, I ain't nothing special. I'm just an average dude doing some wacky thing in his pastime. And uh, kind of, it's crazy, because there's a lot of people that view the vlog and have just so much awesome and positive things to say about it. There's almost like a distortion through the lens, how people see you. Even though I try my best not to portray anything I'm not, the one thing that I'm going to try to really make more poignant going forwards in the vlogs is that what I'm doing isn't anything special. That's no criticism to kind of me. That's more of a, I hope to be like an encouragement for the viewers in regards to, like, you can do anything. You can do anything in this life as long as you want it enough and you're dedicated enough and you're passionate enough about it, you can do it. It's not easy and at times it feels impossible but like anything in life if you kind of just give it practice and little steps you'll get there the old adage of it's not the destination it's the journey it's the journey that's the fun of it so opening your mind to being free to the possibility that good can happen and that there is still good in the world inspirational people but they are out there and there's plenty of inspiration left in the world
What comes to mind when you think 30-year-old Grom? What do I think 30-year-old Grom when I first think of that? Well, apart from, uh, apart from traffic, sugar and coffee. When I think of 30-year-old Grom in the terms of the YouTube channel, I think of uh, someone that's promoting positive vibes and a cool place to hang out and have like-minded community. When I think of 30-year-old Grom as the man I know as Martin, I think of someone that's not scared to show they're going to walk a different path and they're going to live their dream and they're sh they're showing the possibility of it and how it's going to happen you know there's a lot of things that come to mind just straight up straight up guy say it how it is and persistent a creative person somebody that's passionate about their interests and you know what they want to pursue and do just generally how he comes across with his everyday persona of life basically the first thing that comes to mind when I think of the 30 year old Grom is the fact that his channel hasn't at the very least got to a thousand subscribers, the legitimate positivity, or at least the, he tries every day, you know, like he tries to be like the man, you know, and that kind of style and like the consistency, you never know. For me, I just think like insecure, not much self-confidence, anxiety. But just keep pushing. The motto, stay focused, stay positive. Just let's keep going. <laughs> what makes you come back day after day? Uh, I don't know what it is with the vlog. You make the video very interesting and every, every vlog just gets better and better and better. Uh, what makes me keep coming back? What makes me come back day to day? Positive vibes and a supportive community, of course. Again, just the, the fact that it's genuine. You know, it's all edited and it's nice. I love it. I love, you know, but I love the fact that you show, uh, that you show you're genuine. Not perfect. Nobody is. That's that kind of thing that keeps on, keeps on making me come back because it's real. It's, it's you. You're selling yourself as the person in, in your YouTube videos. Coming back to watch you, what you go through every day, how you tackle things, how you deal with things, how you process things. It's like insanity at its best. I've done it so long, but still don't feel so good at it that I kind of want to make the next day better than the last was. So I just keep on. And now that the streak has got as long as it has, I don't want to give it up, which is just mental in its own right. What do I think the Grom battles with most? The Grom struggles with giving himself uh, the credit that he deserves the most, I feel like. From specifically how well he's served with the amount that he's actually served and then like every single vlog like i just said like every single vlog he puts out is good and what do you think grom battles with most wow your mind patience maybe frustration sometimes a little lost maybe confused sometimes but it's all good i think grom battles with work but also a lot of inner demons mental thoughts and stuff like that on a daily basis i think those type of things can affect uh, quite a lot but i think the big battle is mainly work and i think that grom should be doing something a lot more challenging with himself and following stuff that he enjoys more just something a little bit more creative and i think if grom could live a little bit closer to the beach so that he could get in the water and surf more i think that would really 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 help a lot number three what does the the grom struggle with most <laughs> sleep deprivation I think that last one was cut off, but what does the Grom struggle with most? I think sleep deprivation. Like myself, dealing with a day job and how that just sucks the soul and the time out of you that you can be putting towards uh, the dream. Personally, I think um, I battle with the fear of what other people think. And even as much as I try not to, even when I'm editing now, I kind of stress that the edit wasn't good enough or something. Yeah. What's your message to the Grom? My message to the Grom? Dude, if you went surfing some big waves before you're 40. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Um, My message to the Grom is uh, keep pushing. And when you look back in five years, you'll be amazed at how far you come. Just mind blowing. Keep pushing, Grom. Just on principle alone, his vlog deserves to be monetized. That's, I guess, that would be the first thing that I think about. You know what I'm saying? I had all kinds of things going through my head with, with this one. 
Well, you know what you've done for me, first of all. You know, I don't think, I don't know if I would have actually picked up the camera like I have been doing and, and putting them and putting messages out there. So that come that comes down to you. Just keep going, man. Don't let don't let this get in the way. Uh, what is the message for Grom? Grom, you're amazing. Your aspiration to continue every day and keep the blog, you know, every day at the same time and just continue to follow your efforts through is really, really awesome. Everything that you've got planned in your head over the next year, just please make sure you follow and do it. Keep on inspiring people, keep pushing. And hopefully if you put enough good out and the universe sees it fit, then maybe you'll just reap those rewards that you're kind of looking for. Just the little simple things in life to be uh, humble, at least happy with what effort you've put in and uh, maybe eventually one day I will find that I'll find my place with my feet in the sand on Makaha Beach in Hawaii that would be kind of a nice place to finish the vlog because that would almost have gone full circle it's the first thing I mentioned that one day I'd like to get to Hawaii and I'd like to surf and uh, if I can get to Hawaii and surf kind of uh, done what I said I came here to do yeah, might make it in this lifetime I say go and watch the vlog, go and check it out, find it on YouTube, the 30 year old Grom, maybe soon to be the old Grom or something. Guys, girls, thanks for watching. As always, stay focused, stay positive. Yeah, there's nobody over there, I'm just videoing this like I'm talking to somebody because I wanted the light effect and that. It's got to be extra marks for that one, right? Yeah, I could have at least done my hair or something. Hair and makeup, makeup, where's makeup? light saucer check me out did it look good would you watch it again so what was the question <laughs> take 810 I've done so many of these it's really hard dude the light in though I almost look like I know what I'm doing right that sign that I just showed you um, my granddad made that light I don't know 1990 it's done well. If if Grom could be half as like boisterous as me, and like I toot my own horn, like it's going out of style. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>